Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as the Aztecs. In the last episode, we defeated Genghis Tilla, the Kun, and we are now the big kid on the block. I mean, we've always been kind of leading in score, but a lot of it, I feel, was sort of a soft lead. But now we actually have the number two army in the game, and we are quite close to the um, to the Zulus. In fact, to me, that means we have a pretty distinct advantage against the AI. However... They do have their impies out, which are potent, and they're potentially sort of sneaking up around uh, Tenochtitlan, my capital. Um, but they could also be just pulling something for Ormus. We do have a couple of defenders here, although they have not been upgraded to the latest unit types or type. So we're going to want to check on that. We do have a bit of a happiness problem, so we're uh, working on those buildings. And we were moving a lot of troops towards Seoul with the idea that we might do something there soon enough. Uh, they've got one musketman. That's the only unit I can see. Apparently, they've also um, invested in some turtle ships. Someone forgot to tell Korea that this is a Pangea map. On the other hand, you can do all kinds of, you know, neat bombard and exploration and different things like that. In fact, Korea is not, is not a massive powerhouse on the continent. They only have the three cities. I don't know what their army status is, but I think it's going to be a little bit rough. Mostly, I just have to make sure that I don't get uh, hit in the back by the Zulus until I'm ready for that. Uh, I guess I do want to leave my crossbowmen here in LOL Town, and probably in Ucair, just in case Vienna decides to do something. Although I have Melbourne around, or Melbourne, I think people keep wanting me to say, instead of Melbourne. But, uh, you know, accents and all. These missionaries, God, they're going to annoy the crap out of me. But uh, we really do have to flip Vatican City back as well. But I think that about brings me up to speed. It's been a few days since the uh, last session was played, so that's why I'm doing a bit of a reminder here. But I think overall we're okay. We do have a couple of great generals. Where's my other great general? Oh, there and there. Okay, good. And that is fine. I guess the thing I could do is declare on Sedone before Seoul and then literally just fight them one at a time. But I think we're going to be fine to just... Uh, to take it all at once. So, let's go next turn. Let me move my mic slightly. Okay. What is this thing? Oh. That was the musketeer icon? Really? Hmm. Bizarre. Melbourne wants ninjus. Oh, that's very handy. Wasn't I working on converting you? A little bit. We need um, one more follower, maybe two more followers before it'll flip over. We'll see what we can do. I think I would really like to upgrade this long swordman to a musketman just to help protect the capital a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, the icons, why? Musketeer. Wait. Musketeer? Are musketeer not French units? Whoops. Wrong button. Come on, go back. Fine, be that way. Um, musketeer. Musketeer. Only the French may build it. There must be a city-state. That provides musketeer. Oh, it's probably Brussels. Of course, that would make sense. What with them being French and all. Again, I am trolling. Uh, okay, so ninjus. The Zulus have flipped Ormus. Oh, that is not entirely enjoyable. Um, I want to keep them as my allies. It's very, very important. Because if the Zulus declare, Ormus will flip completely. We will definitely throw them a bribe. We're only barely ahead. Oh, look at look at the units. Moving some trebs as well. No, there's definitely something going on here. Let's bring in some extra units to help defend the capital. It's too bad I don't have a couple of more hills here just to drop some units um, in front of. Because I don't like having dudes on flat ground. I would like to have a ranged person inside the capital. We're probably safe to move the crossbow in here. Frankly, we're going to get a lot of warning if something happens that way. Okay, so you in the way back... You're definitely going to join the party. Sure, something like that. And I guess we have lots of units in the front. Well, we do want to keep sending some towards Korea. Because I do think that that's going to happen, well, probably now. Although, if I'm going to have to fight a two-front war, that would not be terribly enjoyable. They must be coming to me. It's a good thing I flipped Ormus back, although Ormus does not have much in the way of forces. Now, if the Aztecs do, or no, I'm the Aztecs, if the Zulus do take Ormus, and then I go and take it back, I might just liberate it, actually. Because then I think we'd be friends for life. Um, especially if I'm already taking Sidon. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to take Sidon. 
we'll see how it goes. So that's flipped, that's flipped. We are no longer the allies of Singapore, that's okay. They're not critical right this second, we might get back to them. We do still have gold, I hope, yeah, we have gold. And we're building happiness buildings, all right. You can probably tuck in that way. Oh no, you were going to shoot, because the cannon was supposed to end there this turn, so it could set up and fire, because the cannons don't have triple range. Hmm. You know what, let's just go. Let's just go and declare war against Korea. I wonder, can I like bully these guys? And To, like, force them to break? I don't think I can. I could give them money, <clears throat> but I'm sorry. 75 short, so that's not going to happen. All right, listen, Seoul. We're going to declare war. We have some trade routes and things like that, but we don't have any friendship going on, so that's okay. Boom. Although, that reminds me, I had checked my diplomatic status, and if I recall, Babylon has some salt. And I would like the salt. Although, what do you want for this? My last incense, which would be sucky. I can give you iron and horses. Can I just pay you? Nine per turn and open borders. <sighs> That's way too much. You know what? I'm going to get something else I can trade you real soon. So just sit tight. And I think I was thinking about maybe making a sort of a defensive-ish line over here. Um, what I can do is go down like that. Bombard. Move up here. Bombard. Do that and... Still not be in firing range of the city. I like that. Guess I'll move that way. The great general is in a fine and good position. Austrian scout, which is okay. And this great general can move this way. Sedan has declared war, exactly as it should. Um, I suppose. I didn't realize, actually, I had too many of my cannons actually exposed here. I've got to move you out of the way. Really, that's as far forward as I can get. Maybe I was supposed to move my units one more time. Um, it's fine. We're going to... What is the hotkey for setup? S and then B for bombard. So very awkward. S, B for bombard. Go ahead and kill this off. We're going to take a little round of bombard from the city. But that's okay. S, B, bam. My workers. What are you doing? Doing. I think what I'm going to do is swing over here and build a lumber mill. And yeah, we're going to keep filling in a lot of these blanks. Ukera does need some help. Uh, Hafriyat definitely needs a lot more. Other than that, I think our cities are pretty good in terms of what tiles they're working. I haven't checked them in some time to make sure they're not working anywhere particularly dumb. I don't think it's happening. I think every city I have control over is set to production focused, which is fine. Um, there's not much in the way of locked citizens. A few places will have locked specialists, which is okay. I don't think we want to rush a, um, a writer. Rushing the, uh, getting great scientist points is pretty good. Again, I could throw some engineer points in here as well. If I turn that off, what would they do? There you go. Reset all the things. You would just have a bunch of unemployed citizens? <laughs> really, game? Really? Are you sure? I mean, certainly they must... Oh, hold on. Um, no, no. That was a misclick. They they want more hammers because I have it sort of set that way. Go ahead and work the workshop. That's all right. Yeah, because right now the growth is pretty slow regardless. So I think that's going to be fine. The universities, universities. You have 11 citizens. You've already decided working one worker is okay. So just go ahead and give me extra beakers. I like science. All right, so we canceled a bunch of deals. Doom, 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 doom. Right, we're no longer friends with Sidon, which kind of sucks. Sidon and Kabul. Oh! Right. Well, that's okay. I don't think we have to worry about Kabul. All right, next turn. Random missionaries of the Ninjus. Oh, I want to try to get to the Vatican City to flip it over for the pressure. I remember that. You finish your turn. We're actually gonna back or you not you haven't finished, but the pikeman is in the way. So I agree you should definitely run. Well played. And this random pikeman. 
Might go and defend the city op over here somewhere. Let's just do a move and see what we get. And you move as far south as you can. And I think that's it for our turn. Let's see what this... Oh, wow, we, had, we did lose a lot of trade routes. I know I'm building a new caravan. I've got it queued in Texcoco because I was at four or five, but now i got to build a ton more. We've been denounced. Very well. Very well! Oh, oh we lost that pikeman outright. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Wittenberg wants ninjus. Everyone wants ninjus. We've got a promotion over here. Great, give us the roughness upgrade. The roughness and toughness. Hmm, it's not a very convenient move for these guys. It's very awkward. Move up by one. Let's bombard. Even if I set up, I can't actually bombard. You know what? Come around. We'll have you take a long walk this way. Hit him. Good. You are actually in firing range of the city, which is not what I was hoping for, but that's all right. No, that's all right there. There we go. Mm hmm. I think we're just going to kill with the crossbowmen. Take this guy, pull him way back to friendly territory for healing, and go ahead and take drill. Although there's a lot of flatland here, maybe I should have given him a shock instead or whatever it's called. And you sit tight over there. You crossbowmen, just wait. We're both basically here to kill some uh, Korean units if they move forward while we take care of Sedone and then kind of wrap around here. May as well kill him off. Oh, or not kill him off. Which might actually be okay, because he would have been in range of the city. Might have been much more vulnerable to actually being killed. Um, I'm a little nervous about the great general. If I move him here, he's going to be safe. I usually like to stack him with a unit. Uh, but it's possible that any one unit might die. I think the musket man is probably safe. He can bombard and hit me with him and maybe him. But I don't think there's any risk to leaving the great general behind the lines here. I think we can probably work on just walking around here with that guy. And, oh, you fort... Uh, yeah, fortify. Don't pillage. We'll save the pillage for when you have... Um, you have some damage. I really want to finish this trading post because I figure I'll probably forget it as the game goes on. But I don't want to build it now, so I guess we'll pull back and fill in some gaps behind here. Vatican City, be flipped. Keep up the ninju pressure. Yes? No? Maybe? <clears throat> really? Still not there. Um, that is definitely an invasion force. That is definitely an invasion force. I guess, yeah, I was moving you up here. You, the pikeman... What, you can pillage friendly stuff? Oh, it's outside my borders. Oh, that's very interesting. Pikeman, you are also going to move up here and assist... I think this crosswoman was going inside the city. This crosswoman may be going up here. Now, it's possible he's just going to bypass my capital if I reinforce it too much. Which would be really, 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 really annoying. So tell you what, I'll put you there. I think we can hold on. We're going to have three melee units. We're going to have the city and a crosswoman to bombard. How strong are MPs? What are MPs? Oh, they're only strength 16. I kept, I th was thinking that they were upgraded versions of uh, gunpowder units, but they're upgraded versions of pikemen. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We're going to be okay. Go ahead and just sit around there then. Shaka declared war on Kabul. Really? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Bizarre. With people so unhappy. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's true. We are unhappy, so we're getting the combat bonus. Um, the combat penalty, I mean. That is true. We're getting 10% less in combat. Really? It was able to kill that. How is it doing so much damage? Hey, we can get a policy, which is great. I don't think I've been giving any thought to what I want the next policy to be. Uh, getting rank 1 of rationalism is amazing. 
Um, we have to build that porcelain tower. I don't, I don't remember what's the deal there. And we unlock that for an intentional thing. We could grab an extra free great general and build melee units, but I don't think that's the direction we want to go into. Um, there's something to be said about grabbing rank one of patronage, but I think what I want to do is go down the piety tree. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Science is pretty goddamn good, though. Science is really good. More faith, which is nice. We can reform. It's very far away. Second most religion. More gold. Now, none of these actually give me more happiness. Can we get any happiness from here? Oh, so much science. I think we got to do the science-y type of thing. Um, I guess one valid, really valid question is, do we start with secularism or humanism? It's not that humanism in and of itself is that great, although it's pretty handy, uh, especially since we are running a lot of specialists, although, again, we're running specialists here. Um, the free thought is extraordinarily strong. Sovereignty is okay, and scientific revolution is pretty good. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is rush for th free thought. Humanism is pretty good by itself, too, so let's go and pick that up. I think I think is the way to go. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good stuff around. I guess everything's good, which is kind of the point. But hey, we've been playing the science-y Aztecs kind of all along, so let's just keep that up, shall we? Move up here, mostly to spot. Move here, we're actually going to kill off that unit. Set up, bombard the city. Set up, bombard the city. Move up with the great general. We'll move here, we'll be able to pillage if it doesn't kill us. And it actually just might, which is certainly going to be annoying. This is actually kind of an awkward spot next to the melee unit, but I think I have to do it. Um, I can move here because next round I can move the musket man down onto the flatland and move the cannon up here so that he can shoot around the hill or she can be on the hill to shoot. We finished the Grand Temple, which is good. So that's plus eight faith is mostly the reason we built it. And we still have a happiness problem. So let's go ahead and yeah, <clears throat> we'll get a circus in there, which takes no time at all to build. You have built me a what? A trading post. And I think you're just going to keep building trading posts. Yeah, the flood plain. Yeah, may as well just come in and backfill all this with trading posts all over. That is good. You are going, I think, to there. You know what? You go to the flatland. You go there. Wait, wait, wait. Did someone just expend to get some Buddhism pressure going on here? Let's spread some religion again. There we go. And we have more pressure here, too, which is very good. Let's go move ahead. Yes, I would like a trading post there. Thank you very much. Great general, you... Actually, I guess go here, because you can cover everyone that way a little bit better. Fortify until healed. Crossbowman has no one to fire at. You can just fortify over here. Wake up if you see someone. Oh, it's the Gallius that's bombarding all my stuff. Yeah, ships. I guess it comes out, and they can double stack them in the city, which is kind of interesting. Austria denounced the Zulus, which makes me kind of happy, actually. Circus was done here, which is wonderful. I think we're going to go straight into a zoo as well. Actually, the only question is if I might want to squeeze in a windmill first, but I think we really do need to keep working on the happiness um, because we're going to be keep taking cities, so i got to make sure I get all my... my happiness buildings built as quickly as possible okay so you're still coming in my direction huh you're still going to be like that two trebs two and i think a third impy was in there somewhere i i don't see how he could take it as is and he might divert and go up to lol town which would be a little annoying in fact you know what we're gonna do let's hide the queue Actually gonna build a musket man over here. Six turns? Yeah, with all the jungle and stuff like that, that's going to work out beautifully. And then when the musket man gets built, I can take the crossbow and just put him back onto the hill. Uh, or actually move the musket man up here into the jungle, which would be a great place to defend from. Alright, public decoration to the Huns, they're protecting Kabul. 
Lost another pikeman. Wow. Got a missionary, which is great. Melbourne wants gold. Huns are protecting Kabul, right? And, oh, we did get a promotion over here. Well, may as well keep going barrage. Hmm. You know what? We're going to pull back over here. Hello. That is a lot of units, which probably means we have a dead unit ourselves. Um, I probably shouldn't have declared war on Korea when I thought the Zulus were coming, but I think we can just keep stalling the Zulus, so I think that's okay. Quite a bit of farmland has been put in place over here, which is good. It doesn't have much in the way of rich food sources, but I think that's going to be good enough. We'll start on the trading post thing. Fortify. Set up and fire. Fire. Well, I guess what I can do is I could scooch down here, still fire, probably get another unit killed. Definitely not attack. In fact, I'm going to fortify with this guy and hope he can't get killed completely, because that would be bad. Because that's my last melee unit. That would actually be really bad if he could kill the musketman. All right, he didn't even try. Looks like we got a spy promotion. No, nope, not quite there. There we go. Boom, we're going to take Sidon, and we will create a puppet. Got a bank, a market, a workshop, a granary, a harbor, a lighthouse, quite a few buildings, actually. Oh, and I can't change your focus, but that's all right. It's not a bad city location. Your harmful units went away. What is this? First Babylon conference is now in session. We have to distribute our votes. I'm pretty sure we want science funding. I don't think... I don't know how much the dye ban would affect us. We don't even have dye. So we could embargo it. But I think I would just much prefer just more science. It's probably okay. We only get one vote. It's hardly going to make a difference anyway. So we've stolen a tech... So we probably just want to steal the most expensive one, which would be industrialization. It also happens to be a very good technology for us. We don't really care for the Gatling guns right now, though it would help defend our cities from the Zulus. The factories are good. Big Ben, we, we may not build. I suppose we need to unlock commerce and coal. Let's find out where coal is. So industrial area, new spy, plus a spy bonus. Let's... um. Where are you spying? Seoul, and Seoul clearly still has some technologies for us. I think we may move this guy. Uh, actually, it might be time to, to defend, because we have quite a few techs. People are going to be increasingly likely to start um, spying on us, so I'm going to put the, uh, the low-level one in our capital, so hopefully he can level up by killing spies, which would be quite lovely. Korea is plotting against Babylon. Well, listen, we're going to share that intrigue, of course. Right, we lost that cannon. We get more bonus from city-states, and we get to build something new over here. We built a zoo, and we could build those guilds, although it probably makes more sense to build in capital, because that's the place that's going to have the maximum gain. It could be time for us to build a granary here. Then it loses, doesn't have any specific additional bonuses unless we start working the bananas, but it's not a bad thing. Culture's not bad. Oh, you know what we need? We need to get our caravans going again. So let's just go ahead and build a bunch of those. We are making a fairly decent amount of money, but we could certainly get better. We just expanded our empire, so our happiness is still just the suck. Colosseum here, followed by a zoo. Could be going up here now. Should be a little harder to defend. But four turns away, we'll have his musketmen. Between the two, we should be able to stall them out pretty good until we get something else going on. Shoot you. Blow you up. Good. Um, we could put some serious damage on their cannon, but it's probably smarter to just run. Although, you can't actually melee me right now. You know what? We'll take the free shot on the cannon, then we can run later. Who wants ninjus? Melbourne, for one. Now, we're still very allied, right? Oh, uh, not very allied. We're technically allied. But we could be more. 
Um, no, we're not actually going to take to the ocean. That would be stupid. Wait, was there something I could pillage here? Oh, yeah. You know what, just for time and money, we'll do that. Who else wanted ninjas? Wittenberg, which is in an inconvenient location, and Brussels, which was also far away, wasn't it? Yeah, way over there. So we're going to take you, move you into our empire. Go there, just so that you stay nice and safe. Mr. Missionary. Four turns away. Technically have money to rush something. Actually, what we do have money for is we could claim Attila's court for ourselves. We could annex it. And then we could um, rush by the courthouse. But I think that we would almost rather spend the money rush buying a unit at this point to feel better about our front line. Capital is definitely safe at this point, but I'm worried about over here. You could bypass this completely if we have an open borders agreement, which I'm too lazy to double check on. All right, Seoul will be a little bit tough to crack. They have unlocked the Gatling guns, obviously, because this is who we stole industrialism from. We don't actually have quite as many units right on the front line as I would like, but that's because they were mostly busy with Sidon, which we will swing them back over at some point. Okay, I guess we just go to the next turn and see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Um, starting to attract quite a bit of attention. Not a good thing. Sorry, this caused the divide. Yeah, I know. We've got the warmonger thing going on. That's life. Okay. And we're getting denounced by anyone. everyone. That's not a surprise. Uncivilized brute. Yes, yeah, so they were really unhappy we took the city-state. We could get declared on by everyone simultaneously, which would certainly be bad. Uh, I think we're going to have to start pumping out a lot more military units. A lot of promotions is nice. Take barrage. I do like the bonus against cities. And actually, these are going to be upgraded to, um, not cannons, artillery really soon, which means they're going to get the extra range. Aren't they? Oh, right. We have tons of, like, tech to backfill before we get the dynamite. No, we're actually going for scientific theory. Oh, we're a fair way away from artillery. Well, let's take the double barrage. That'll be fine. And you... Go ahead and take drill. And I would rather not have you in the line of fire to anything, although... I could just soak some time. You know what? Four to five, if you're sitting around getting bombarded, at least you'll get experience points. That's okay. That looks good to me. Dyes are banned. Science funding not passed. I was the only one who voted for it, really. Hmm. Oh, and we got a worker. So let's go ahead and get our road built, which seems like a fine idea. I want to make sure you build to there, and then we'll build to that hill. Heal up. Caravan, okay. Where are these troops going? They might be going here. They might be going to Kabul. They did declare war over there at some point. Well, yeah, just move up as much as you can for now. And we'll get back to you. Village for the heels. All right, caravan. I think I want to move you somewhere else. I think I'm going to change you to maybe Hafriat. We'll have you trade out of there, maybe to Sydney or something like that. I didn't check trade routes. I'm mostly just looking for a safe place to be. That would move me into city range, and it's a little too early for that. So let's just wait a turn. There's a tight squeeze going to Seoul. Very well. We need to keep our military force up at this point. Everyone's going to hate us for the rest of the game. 
Losing grasp? Oh yeah, but as soon as we spread our religion, we're going to be okay. They want truffles. We're working on it. Peace tree with Attila is done. Ur wants most technologies. Egypt denounced us, of course. We've got no happiness available here. I think I'm going to do... We could just have Gatling guns sitting in my city for defensive purposes. I think I'd rather just build another musketman. I think it's still too early to move forward with my units. Yeah. All right, let's sort by highest gold. We actually could improve our production rates. We're not going to get science from those trades. Keep the pressure up on Melbourne. Is halfway decent. I think we'll do that. Come down here. Spread the love. We need to get rid of the Catholics. Send up the ninjus to assassinate the Catholics. That sounds good. It doesn't sound bad at all. Actually, let's do check to see if anyone would like uh, Columbo. Oh, we can do that from here. Great. Boom. Yes. Move all the units forward onto Korea. We'll have to enter their firing range soon. Oh, peace deal right now. It's actually vaguely... 33 gold per turn? That is a lot of gold. It's like a thousand gold. The question is... Now, if this were a regular game where I still wanted to do something like win by science, I would take this in a heartbeat. Um, especially since I've already got a lot of warmonger penalty. But it is a game where I would like to try to win by domination. So I think I'm going to refuse. It's so much money. Well, so much. It's a thousand gold. It's not that much. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. We're unhappy. Got a trade route. Oh, we lost a quest to Ormus, which is kind of annoying. Oh, which may have been the money thing. Zulus are the ally of Singapore. We don't have open borders with Egypt anymore. They might actually not want to do it back because I suspect, yeah, most people do not like me anymore. Embassies? Borders? All right, no open borders. It's fine, I get it. Uh, oh, now you can just, like pop at me with the Gatling gun at range and no counterattack from me, which is certainly very annoying. Well, let's move our real troops in. We're going to go like this, because then we can get the uh, crossbowmen. Oh, I gotta, oh, I can upgrade them to Gatling guns, which have much more strength, but don't have the range. So I don't think I'm going to bother doing that right now. This guy is hurt, but I think it's still worth moving him in. Um, that might be a little risky, actually. This is fine and safe. The other great general is actually mostly just there for a laugh. Uh, I can actually boost the musketman's strength by putting that guy there, which would be nice. Good. More trading posts. More trading posts. You can put one up on this hill. That's probably fine. Trading post complete, so let's keep doing that. Come on, convert. There we go. Ninjus, and we have slightly more pressure, which is good too, although I suspect there'll be some more Catholic missionaries coming. Trade route. No one is currently looking for a trade route, so we can basically send you anywhere. I think what I will do is... 
I'll move you to text Coco. And then we'll figure it out next turn. Choose production. Um, I think I'm going to build one more caravan, actually. Although, I can probably build a zoo here. Yeah, so let's build a zoo. We are zero unhappiness, or zero happiness, which at least means our units are going to fight at maximum strength. Although, we're about to go negative in a second, because I'm sure someone's about to grow. Oh, we can build a Circus Maximus now. Which is a great idea. Um, where would we build it? In our capital, we want to build Circus Maximus. In only 10 turns, and you can build... You can build a caravan. You know what I didn't check? Do we have coal? We have a huge empire. Is it going to be... Despite having a huge empire... Okay, well, we'll pop that border soon. But yeah, despite having a huge empire, we don't currently have coal, which is weird. But we will have coal, so that's going to be fine. I suspect that's going to be the next border pop. Uh, 15 turns is a fair amount of time. I could buy it now. I think I will. And uh, as soon as a worker becomes available, I will grab that. Musket man here is fully healed, so make your way over as much as you can. Yeah, do something like that. Zoo is finished. Um, it's probably library time over here, although let's build the windmill first for more production. Seoul has a halfway decent number of units around. This might not just be a raffle stomp. Sure, I'd love an embassy. Probably means you're more likely to spy on me, but we'll deal with it. Ninju spread to Melbourne, which is what they wanted. We are not an ally, but I'm sure we're not an ally, and then we'll be an ally again. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Citrus to Nebuchadnezzar. They might not want to trade with me anymore, which would make me sad. Not that I really need the money. And certainly, they probably would like the citrus. I would like the salt. Okay, not happening. Yeah, we're not going to get any trades anymore. That's okay. We can get the resources we're missing simply by going to war. And I realize this part has gone on far, far too long. Let's queue up a zoo over here. I'm going to move that musket man right in front. Uh, give him drill for sure, because he's going to be hanging out in the uh, jungle. We'll establish a trade route. They can pretty much go anywhere. I think, I think trading some hammers actually would be a lovely idea. Um, we can actually build it to our capital. To help it build. Yeah, one turn off Circus Maximus. Plus some religious pressure going both ways, which is actually going to be handy because we are not maxed out on followers, so we may as well do that. And uh, we're going to put a cut in here. See you guys next time.